Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see some basic terms and terminologies and concepts in Jira. So let's start with issues. And the reason I'm doing this session now and not earlier is because once we have logged into our Jira account, once we have a, we have seen the GUI and features and we have also created a project. Now it will be very, very meaningful to understand these concepts because this is something you, we have already seen somewhere while creating the project or issues and now we can uh, connect with it and understand these terms very well. So that's why I'm having this session now. So let us start with issue. In Jira, issue is the fundamental building block. So whenever we have to create anything, any work, we create it as an issue. So we create an issue and then we uh, add an issue type. It can be a bug, it can be a user story, it can be a task, it can be an epic. So based on what a type of thing it is we then define the type of the issue but everything that we have to do every work that we have to do is a starts with the issue and it is a issue so it is the fundamental building block of jira so you can see whenever we go to jira i can go to any of my projects and then here is the button to create an issue if i click here you can see here we can select the project and then here we can select the issue type whether it is a task bug story epic etc we can add more issue types and then we have the statuses here in progress done to do etc then we give the summary and details we can assign it to a particular person and then we can also uh, add any parent to this issue and then we can select the team sprint etc and then we can create the issue so it will be assigned to the person it will be visible in on the dashboard we can see the statuses we can see the progress everything so every work starts with an issue and i have also shown you here in the gui session that when we go here to this search box we have option to view all issues so i can go here and i can see all the issues here so you can see there are these are different issues we can see all issues open issues and viewed recently done issues and all the filters as well and also when we go here to uh, settings to this settings icon we can see issues here so here we can configure the issue types workflow screens etc so if i go here you can see here are the different uh, statuses and types i can go here to add issue type and i can type add more types so i can say something like user story and give a description i can say add here and it will get added here so we can do it like this then you can see issue type scheme subtasks workflows so we can also add workflows here so workflow schemes etc so this all we can do for issues so basically issue is the fundamental building block of jira and every work we have to do we have to create an issue for it and then we select the type of issue then project so project is a collection of issues so project is a collection of work items or issues and it is directed to a specific goal or objective okay so for example you want to make some uh, add some feature in your project or in your application so you will create a project for it and then all the things all the work you have to do for adding that feature will go as issues in that particular project okay then we have workflows now it is the series of steps that an issue goes through from creation to resolution so this can be decided by you based on your project based on your needs that whenever an issue is created it will be created as to do status and then how it will transition it will go to maybe in progress then a review resolved review done so all this will can be a workflow and this is something you can decide for your project so if I go to my project and my Jira here, if I go to the settings and go to issues, here you can see we have a section for workflows here and I can go to the workflows and here you can see active and inactive workflows in your project and let me go to, so here we have, I can go to my, let's say I go to this project and then I will go to or let me go to this Kanban project and if I go to issues and workflows okay this is for entire uh, account so I can say add workflow we can say create new and then you can say give a name to the workflow my workflow one 
and say create so you can see the workflow is created and now here i can select the statuses i can say add status so i can say uh, in progress add and then here i can add the transition that from open it will go to in progress and i can give the name to this transition open started working and i will say add and you can see this is how it will look like from open it has gone to in progress then i can add more statuses like this and add more transitions so we will see this in more detail in the workflow session but this is what it it is workflow is the series of steps that an issue goes through from creation to resolution then we have sprint if we are creating a scrum project we will have sprint now sprint is a short fixed period of time where a team works to complete a specific amount of work for example let us say we start a project and we uh, say that uh, we estimate that the project can take approximately one month to complete but we do not want to just start on it and end it once we want to create a small periods of time where the team can work on specific amount of work with focused uh, uh, with a with complete focus and then we will have more clarity that how we are progressing how we are able to complete the work and we we will have shorter cycles of sprints to complete the complete project so here we can say that we will have one week sprint so we will have four sprints in this project we will have one week sprint and then we can take the work we have to do in every sprint from the backlog we can pick up the work and we can pick up the issues and put in in the different sprints and then start the sprint and then we can see the progress so these are fixed period of time when a team works to complete a specific amount of work now if i go to my projects so let us say if i go to my uh, first scrum project that we created earlier so here you will find sprints so you can see if i go to let us say i'm on my scrum project and here we have a backlog so if i go to backlog you can see all the issues that you will create in the project will come in the backlog here so backlog is a place where you will find all the issues all the work you have created and then you can click on create sprint i can click on create sprint and then you can drag and drop from the backlog you can drag and drop work to the sprint and then you can start the sprint so there can be multiple stories bugs uh, to do uh, things tasks epics etc and then we can start the sprint so this is how you can plan your project in sprint okay and scrum scrum is a agile framework that helps the teams to deliver the work in short cycles called sprint so scrum and uh, so sprints are used in scrum projects or scrum framework which is a agile framework so this is how we work in the agile methodology we take small cycles and then add our work and then we work on those uh, projects and project items with complete focus in these short cycles and then we see the progress so this is what a scrum is and that is why we have a separate type of project called scrum in jira then backlog we have already seen it is a list of issues that are prioritized for future work so whenever we have anything for this project we will keep on adding in the backlog and whenever we create any issue it will keep on adding in the backlog and then from the backlog we can drag and drop it to the sprint that we want to complete this task in and then it will go and become a part of that particular sprint and it has to be completed in that sprint okay then we have boards boards are the visual representation of our projects we have scrum board kanban board and different types of boards so if you go to this dashboards you can see all the dashboards here we can create more dashboards so you can give the name to your dashboard like i will say this is my dashboard one and give some description you can select the viewers and editors and then save and then here you can see you can now add what you want to see in this dashboard so let us say you can drag and drop from here or you can add a new gadget so let us say i will i want to see all the assigned to me things in this dashboard and then i want to see or let us say average time in statuses i want to see a bubble chart i want to see created versus resolved chart so you will see all this will come as a dashboard and then it will be shown here so whenever you go to this my dashboard 
you will see all these details so based on whatever you want to see you can create your own dashboards and you can see the visual representation of your project and your progress okay so these are the different things these are the very basic terms and concepts in jira and once you have knowledge about this it will be very easy to work with jira i hope this was useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning